Welcome to The Lunatic Show. I am your host, MC Loon. Tonight, I have a very special guest, someone who taught me much of what I know, the one and only Father Balls. Thank you, thank you, my child. Finally, you remembered. Praise be the outer space Jesus baby and dark matter Bob and dark energy Todd who make galaxies rotate faster. Just relax as they watch you sleep. Do you still say your prayers, Loon? Of course, every morning and before I go to bed. Well, that is not enough. The balls must be constantly on your mind. You can substitute it with testicles or other eroticism, but there must be a shaft or balls involved. Maybe some black holes, if you know what I mean. Oh, I misunderstood. Then we are good. I think about that all day, every day. Perfect, let's pray together to the holy prophets. Start with the one with sticks and shadows. Praise be the erotic stick master, Eratosthenes. He guides us with his assumptions and shadows. Forever globular men. Good, good. But you need to put more passion into it. Like your sexual desire for the man is uncontrollable. Now do the one who looked at the horizon. Praise be the sexy mountain man, Al Biruni. He guides us with his assumptions from the mountain about the horizon. Forever globular men. That was a little better. But clench your sphincter when praying. I can see in your face that it is not constipated enough. Now pray to the one who had the balls in a shed. Praise be the Lord of Testicles, Cavendish. He guides us with his assumptions about mass and matter. How fat is attractive. Forever globular men. You are doing good, child. I am feeling the love of balls emanating from you in this moment. When this is over, we can shower together like usual. But let's continue. Pray to the one who obsessed with the moon. Thank you, Father. The great fool who did not understand shadows, Parmenides, guides us in his folly, the one who taught us, if it appears like we believe, it's good. Never check your assumptions. Forever, globular men. Good, now do the one who claimed two reference frames. Yes, Father. The holy clown who thought gyroscopes would show drift, who ended up with assuming pendulum motion is caused by two reference frames. Foucault guides us in his fantastical imaginations. Forever globular men. Well done, you remember your prophets. Now exalt the creator gods. We remember and exalt the Gravitron, which was birthed from the death of the Most High, superseding it, like the prophet Einstein did to the prophet Newton. We remember and exalt Mother Earth, who hates us in her climate-changing embrace, and Father Son, the one who waits to destroy us. We remember and exalt the black hole generals of the Gravitron, who constantly seek to destroy all things, and the holy planets, which are our future heaven, forever globular men. Good! It's clear you have been reading your scriptures and studying the doctrine. Good work, my child. Thank you, Father. But this is my show. I wanted to ask you some questions. Like, what is the best way to counter the flat earthers? Ah, good question. The most obvious answer is to use holy fallacies. But you can also just deny all of reality. Let's say he tries to say something is objective, a measurement or something. Then you just say, no, everything is subjective. I am the only one who actually exists. And then you win because he does not exist anymore. Simple, right? Yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of like when we decide to forget the conversation so we can imagine we said something different, right? Exactly, my child. We are holy globular zealots, so the world revolves around us. Anything we say goes. It's why gaslighting is so important to our religion. It's how we maintain our congregation. Any other questions, my oblate child? Yeah, um... I wanted to ask, is it okay if McFaddy sleeps over? Who the hell is that? Fight the tight shirt. He also believes in the globe. He makes up cool fallacies, and he's just so round. Round? Am I not round enough for you? And I don't make up cool fallacies? You traitor, you. Need to be more round. I cannot believe you would do this to me after everything I have done for you. I am so disappointed you would break up with me in this way. Oh, no. Don't misunderstand. I was hoping we could all be together. Like a solar system, you can be our father's son. He can be my moon. Please, Daddy Balls. Oh, well, as long as I am the center of attention, we are good. You can have your moon, but my attraction is greater. Remember that. Great. Everything seems to be coming up loon today. 
I don't think I have any more questions. You made me the happiest man on earth, Daddy Balls. Well, if you are happy, that means you owe me. I need the publicity of these shows, so next show you are having me on again. Uh, okay, sure. But I will be getting a new guest, though, so please try to let me lead the dance, okay? No, I am the Big Daddy. So if I want to speak, I will speak, and you will just have to live with that. Okay, okay, we will figure something out. Thank you for coming, Father Balls. I always enjoy our time together, you know that. Likewise, Loon. Just don't ever try to exclude me again, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. This has been MC Loon and Father Balls. On the Loon, a tick show. Remember to send me money. I accept anything and everything. My lawsuits against other content creators don't pay as much as I would like. Support the show or die trying. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> <gasps>